I need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pippin' you I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber, nobody gon' fuck on my clip I need a 30 for 30 Alright, I'm happy to have the gang back together This time for another segment of Ray's Take uh, Today, my brother got something interesting uh, to pose to us and to all of you viewers Brother, go ahead and take it away Yeah, you know, just, I've been been working through social media um, And just kind of paying attention to what was going on in the NFL as far as the quarterback position goes. It feels like everybody, um, I don't say everybody, but a lot of teams have an issue at the most important position um, in the NFL, in sports perhaps. Um, and it's not just who are we going to draft if you're talking about the New York Jets and the Jacksonville Jaguars. We're talking about established quarterbacks, brother like like Aaron Rodgers, like your quarterback. Um, obviously, I don't think he's going anywhere, but he's in the news for him not being happy with the situation. Deshaun Watson, we know, is historically unhappy right now um, in his situation. And it got me thinking, normally when 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 there's a, a new cycle, as we get closer to the now NFL offseason after the Super Bowl, uh -huh. um, it got me thinking, I haven't heard from Jerry Jones <laughs> in quite a while. Um, and that makes me nervous. I, you know, most of the time I tell y'all he needs to stop talking and just do work, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm nervous I'm nervous because here we go talking about all of this movement that's going on at the quarterback position in the NFL, whether it be trades or uh, draft that, that, that's coming up, um, current quarterbacks that want out. And I don't have a quarterback technically. Like, by contract, when this season ends, and I mean like this season, like Super Bowl ending, I don't have a quarterback. That's I do, but I don't, right? Um, and so it made me think like, man, I don't know what's going on. But I'm worried. So I, I just started, you know, saying, like, what is the news out there with, with, with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys? And then I started seeing some social media hits, mainly on Instagram, uh, where folks started mentioning, like, the value of Dak, right? Uh, between him playing on these one-year contracts, what we saw in the first couple of games before he had that horrific injury. But then I saw this really cool post showing that, like, Dak truly is the last man standing in his draft class. Mm -hmm. And by standing, I mean... As of right now, he is still the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and the guys ahead of him, Jared Goff, no longer the quarterback of the Los Angeles Rams, the number one overall pick, right? Um, signed a huge contract a couple of years ago. Uh, Carson Wentz, an MVP candidate, mm, Super Bowl champion, if you want to look at it that way. To me, he's not. Um, he was on the team. But at the end of the day, he got benched. So, yes, he's on a team, but he is not the guy anymore. I can give you a couple more names. This wasn't just like a, a deep draft class when it comes to quarterbacks, but guys that played significant snaps, Paxton Lynch, Jacoby Brissett, uh, Connor Cook, uh, Nate Sudfield, Jeff Driscoll, Brandon Allen. These guys are still in the league today. And then Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is the last of those guys, and he was a fourth-round draft pick. Um, so it shows the value of Dak, but it also makes me think, like, is this a trend that's going to wipe out the 2016 draft class in terms of starters, right? In terms of starters. And I don't know as, as confident as I was when, when I talked about it on this show and just amongst us as brothers early on in the season, when he went down, I thought the draft stock for, excuse me, the, the, the contract stock for that could only go up because it would show what we lack without him. But now I'm like, man, if, if, if the Rams are willing to move on from, from Jared Goff, who, as far as success on the field, maybe the numbers, I may think Dak's a better quarterback than Jared Goff, but Jared Goff's been to the Super Bowl, right? He led a team to the Super Bowl. Uh, Carson Wentz was an MVP candidate. Had he not gotten hurt, he probably would have started in the Super Bowl, right? So if these teams are willing to move on, then why should my organization feel any differently about who I think is, is a top-tier quarterback? Um, I don't know if it just shows like the, the impatience of, of – NFL franchises now that they're willing to just say, if it doesn't work out in the first four years, we'll kick the can and move on and, and go draft somebody else and start over, right? Or if this is just like the new reality. this Is, is this the new reality we're looking at, I guess is what I'm saying, where you get a short window and if it doesn't work, then we're moving on because we just don't have time. I know head coaches are like that now because they realize their job is is tied to the quarterback. I think GMs are too because they realize that their job is try tied to their draft picks. But are these owners truly saying to us, like, if you don't get it done 
in three to four years. I mean, dude, let's let's talk about like the San Francisco 49ers. Garoppolo, I don't know him as a quarterback, like how productive he is, because I don't follow the 49ers like that. But Joe T, y'all do. Um, is his window already closed in, in what three seasons with y'all? Yeah, absolutely. No, we, we don't have a quarterback either. Um <laughs> <laughs> that, <No. laughs> that that's why we're actually trying to get Watson now. Yeah. Um uh, man, Jimmy can't stay healthy. He he just can't stay healthy. From him turning himself into a running back, tearing his ACL because he wanna run to the sideline and cut back in to him basically, I'm gonna be honest, he's the reason Kittle gets hurt. All of these high passes and the defense going at his legs. Yeah. Like, like it's so many, like, to be honest, I don't know what Shanahan is doing. I really wanted him to go after Stafford because I thought Stafford was going to be cheap. Yeah. Well, clearly he wasn't because the Rams, like, they like, you know, golf is so terrible to the point we just going to give up first round draft picks and whatever else you want just so we could get him off the books, man. As far as that, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what Jerry doing. To me, Dak has proven himself. Yeah. He should have been had a contract. Um I I man, you know, Jerry, Jerry's gonna have to get his hands off that franchise if yeah. it's gonna succeed. He he has to, man. Um as far as the other what you trying to say? I was gonna say I was I was looking at an article, um, and and I would love to give credit. I just I honestly just can't remember where the article was from. I want to say it was an ESPN article, um, but I just remember like them saying that their analysis is in this off season there could be 18, 18 quarterback moves in the NFL. Wow! Think about that. Yeah. That's over half the teams in the NFL, man. Right. That could be having new starting quarterbacks <laughs> when this season rolls around. That's, That's how impatient the NFL has become with that most important position. Now we're, now, we're not just talking free agency. We're talking drafts, free agency, trades like we're seeing. 18? Like, that's the number we're talking about to where I look back at this 2016 draft play. And you can do 2017, 18, so on and so forth. But these young men are four and five years in the league. And, like, you know, back when we were coming up, you might not see a guy step on the field until it was his third year. They may just exactly. sit and watch. But that doesn't happen anymore, man. Uh, well, unless you play for for the Packers, they seem to do it well uh, with Brett Favre and then Aaron Rodgers. Now Aaron Rodgers and I don't even know the back of Jordan Love. Is that his name? Jordan Love, yeah. Jordan Love. So they do it. See, see, here we go. <laughs> they they do it differently, right? Yeah. But but the rest of the league is just like, man, if you don't get it done for us in two or three years, your fourth year, you should probably be starting to look for employment elsewhere. Um, so I, I just I just kind of wanted to put that out there, man, and 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 say I don't know what's going to happen, not just with my franchise, but the rest of the league as well. We could very well do this when the NFL season starts next year, and we're all trying to learn like the new quarterback, like who in the NBA, you know, on TNT they say who he play for. We might right. be very well saying that when the NFL season starts. For real, I, you know, I, they, they getting real impatient though, man. Joe, I was just looking up. Y'all boy Jimmy G. Uh, okay. Great. At worst, you gotta say, at worst, you gotta say Jimmy G is a good game manager, at least. The man I would say that. I would say that. And I don't know okay. much about him, but I would say that. The man's I, overall record is 24 and 8. Okay. You might mm -hmm. say, okay, they, they were just running the ball, whatever. Right. All right, so let me see. His touchdown to interception ratio is 51 to 26. Okay. Uh, I mean, what what you want? So for? here here's my thing. So y'all went to the Super Bowl, and that's what I was gonna say. So this is when having immediate success doesn't do you any favors, right? So right. we trade for Jimmy, right? He he plays the back half of the year, and he goes undefeated oh, to finish five, out the year. Five and that, that next year, he gets injured. Got hurt. That's right. Okay. Then the next year, that's when we go to the Super Bowl. Go now, Super mind Bowl. you, Shanahan, he has like a five-year contract. So Shanahan has to get this done. Once you go to the Super Bowl, and if you lose, you're expected to be back yeah. at the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl the bus at that point. 
and, and, and to Joe's point, I think that's where where you see the Rams uh, move on because when you see a coach like Sean McVay, he's not trying to lose his job because Jared Goff won't progress. You know what I mean? He's like, I have pieces around. Me. I got the best defensive player in football, right? I got, I got good receivers that I know how to use with my offensive game plan. Um, I have the top defense overall in the NFL, um, and I know how to make all of this work. I just need the guy at the most important position to get us over the top when it's time to make a play in the biggest of moments. Um, so that's I, I think that goes to Joe's point with his coach saying, I don't have it and I need it or I'm going to lose my job versus McVay saying, I know I don't have it and I'm willing to go ahead and tell ownership I can part ways with the number one. Think about that. The number one overall pick that went to the Super Bowl. That's what I'm saying. Now, now course, it's they, like, they didn't trade up to get him right. They just had the first pick. I think they did Philly, trade up. Philly and I thought Philly. They, they just flip flop. They, they just flip flop. Okay. Right? okay. Um, so, but but still, like the number one overall pick, and he has now been like just pushed aside, and they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. I'm sitting there as a fan of of the Dallas Cowboys, thinking, man, if Dak took me to, I would be upset if we didn't win. No doubt about it. Right. But if if we made it, I don't know if I'm ready to like push Move away. From him. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make a case for him now to stay with us. And it's hard to win a Super Bowl, man. I think the Patriots got folks. Uh, That's true. I, That's like true. you just said, I've had two back-to-back first ballot Hall of Fame quarterback. Yeah. yeah. And I got two Super Bowls out of that. Yeah. Three appearances. Yeah. Think about that. So I basically had. Uh, what Brett played almost two decades. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you got Aaron, who's talking about he go. I got one Super Bowl out of Brick and yeah. one Super Bowl out of Aaron. It's hard yeah. to win the Super Bowl. Look, now, I will say, I, I was hearing that Shanahan and McVay, um, they both were saying that they kind of dumbed down their offense yeah. because of the lack of progression with their QB. So as, as a head coach, I'm like, look, like I can't show everything that I can do with my QB not progressing. Okay. I, I got to move on. Did my thing there, JoJo. It's microwave time. Why they pay him, JoJo? Okay, because they not already re up this man with some uh, so here, big here, money. Hey, Jerry, and, and, so, and that makes me scared that Dak's gonna be out because Jerry might be looking around. Uh, Rams, Rams paid Cubs. He gone. Eagles paid Cubs. Uh, uh, Carson Wentz. Mm-hmm. He gone. Jerry now, might be but, like. Now, Jimmy, Jimmy is only making like $25 million. Yeah. So we, we kind of, when we first did his contract, looking at it, it was like, this is a terrible contract. Why would the Niners do that? But yeah. now that you got QBs getting 40, 35, 38, now it looks like a great contract. And, okay. and, and, and you know, that's another good point. I think, I think the fact that you might be able to say, man, I'm willing to walk away from a guy earlier rather than kind of get caught saying, man, I was too late. I waited one year or two too late, yeah. and now I've ruined my franchise for the next five years because I didn't just go ahead and, and, and cut the cord when I when I should have, right? Well, that's what happened in New England. That's yeah. what happened in New England, right. That's mm-hmm. absolutely right because Cam, it's sad to say, Cam wasn't even a quarterback this year. After. Oh, yeah. At first, yeah. he was looking all right. Yeah. And then I, near the end of the year, he couldn't even throw the ball, period. See, that's my thing, though. I, I really wonder the long-term effects of COVID. Because he didn't look like he went downhill until after. That is a great point, Joe. Until after that. And people don't mention that, That's you know, because I, I think they're trying to get him, like, off the screen for some reason anyway. But he was great before because, you know, I had him in fantasy. He was great. But yeah. after COVID, he was not the same. And yeah. there was a basketball player said that too. Uh, uh, a collegiate basketball player, the one that fainted or something yeah. like that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. But, but also, what you're saying about getting rid of a guy a year early, yeah. Uh, but that still scared me with that. Then it does. It, 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 yeah. it, it, it does it, because it's to the point. Now, and again, that's why I go back to Jerry Jones, who loves the spotlight, who always wants to be in the news and make sure that even when his team is not playing, that he can take advantage of that 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 spotlight that is the NFL. Right? Any opportunity is a good opportunity, and he hadn't said a word. Right. Had, had instead of work. And I think that's by design because he very well may be dropping something on either end, on either end. 
saying I'm, we're gonna move on or we're gonna we're gonna extend this guy and make him the face mm -hmm. um and people may not be ready for that either because he's coming off an injury and and how can you justify it either way i just think there's something in store um and it's awfully quiet man i i got, I got some things i don't i don't want to be like that hot take guy but i got some things in my head that i feel like is happening behind the scenes and I just I don't know, man. I'm, you want, you sure. you know what I thought though, Ray? But he couldn't do it. Had he had Dak under contract, yeah. I think he probably would have tried to go after Stafford. Yeah, yeah. I I could see him doing that. Him being a Dallas guy, I could see that. I could see that. Yep. That that's the one thing that doesn't put the Cowboys in play um, because they don't have him under contract. So you don't fool with Stafford, Dad, over there, man? No. Oh T, T can't. He's not a what, what are we saying right now? <laughs> we we were we were in this group chat and T was going ham yeah. about not getting staff. Well, yeah. well, 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 we 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 got we got a segment coming up about that. We, we got, we're gonna have to get into that. Yeah, save it, save we, it. it. We're we're gonna gonna I'm just saying the public is well, not the public. The media telling me that the Rams got a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. I said, when? Hey, hey hold on now, no, our just, boy. And it's not a hot take guy. This a guy who, who predates first take and and uh, undisputed. Yeah. I'm talking Tony Kornheiser from yeah, PTA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kornheiser said, "Book it that the Rams will either will be in the Super Bowl or will be your Super Bowl champions." He told Will Bun, "Book it, save it, save it, save it, save it." That's crazy. That's, that's crazy. crazy no, he not. He went. I want them hot take guys. So when that's, they be talking, they just really feel it. That's now, crazy. I'm, but looking at that team, man, to be honest, they was a quarterback <laughs> away. Like the Rams were a quarterback away. All right, well, at, uh, let me pull your coat then uh, on some, Joe. And then okay. I want to come back Rayway because I think some is leaking out, Ray. Yeah. Through through uh, uh, Jerry's media arm, um, a.k.a. Skip Bayless. But, <laughs> uh, Joe T., what would y'all have to give up, you think, to get Deshaun? I got Tell a lot him, of Joe. talented cats. Tell him, Joe. What All right, think so we have to give up? Tell him what I said. What, what I think we, we're going to have to give up, I think it's going to take two first, two first rounders, Bosa, and probably another pick, um, maybe third, something like that. Yeah, two first, a third, and Bosa. They're going to want a player. Bosa is the player. A, another player. They're gonna want another player. <laughs> go, go, hold on, cause cause the Rams inquired about Aaron, and you yeah. know what we asked for this is what is being reported. What's we that? asked for Aaron Donald, Ramsey, and then some picks. Because now, the quarterback here, here's what I'm gonna say though. Important. It's gonna it it's, 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 it's gonna be on Deshaun though. Quarterback. It's gonna be on Deshaun. Like if he's willing to sit out or you know just make it really tough on him. Because, I mean, he got a no-trade clause. So they can't just trade him anywhere. So they're going to have to pick a team that he at least saying he will go to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just think that I, I think they could look at Bosa as the heir apparent to White. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I think White pretty much out the door. Yeah. So you, you may be right. It, it may take another player. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, we, to now, be we honest. Got, do you want that? Like, would you want your roster to be somewhat? Oh, I would. I would do somewhat it. gutted to get that one guy. Right. So, so you I, see what I'm dealing with up there. I, I you know what I the quarterback right. I got. This you is know. why I would do it because we didn't have Bosa this year, and the defense really wasn't that bad. Like it was middle. Of the what I look at is I haven't seen a defensive end win a Super Bowl for you. Joe. I believe. Don't no, do that. Just a deep, just a defensive end win the, the Super Broncos, Bowl. Broncos, Von Miller. No, no, that was a total defense though. They, they, they had uh to live. They well, had. Well, I think LT might have. The best. Yeah, LT. Reggie White. Oh, defense was, that defense Reggie was, White. So you didn't have an offense though. That, that's what I, I'm saying. I had the number one defense though. Th this I is know, what I say. Okay, the Chiefs. Week. Let's look at the Chiefs, right? Okay. Strictly offense. Their 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 defense is not bad, but it's not like a, you know what I mean. Like they players don't necessarily just jump off the screen. They got maybe what two. They got Honey Badger. They got Jones, and they 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 are they tied for tenth 
top. They tied for the tenth scoring defense. They defense look, underrated. I'll put look, it look. this way: in the Super Bowl, had we had Watson, we would have won look, that oh, Super that's, Bowl. That's no doubt. But yeah, if y'all well, had, Watson, had those other guys, though, boom, wouldn't, probably wouldn't wouldn't have Bosa. And to be honest, they held Bosa the whole game. So Bosa Bosa really wasn't that relevant. In that but Super Bowl, you got to slide protection to him. You got, you know, what I'm saying when you got we a could, guy like that. I think is, I feel like we we can draft well. So, you know, they got those day two guys and all that. We can find somebody that can that can at least. I ain't okay. saying he gonna be Bosa, with, right? With numbers and everything, but I'm saying if he can come in and give me eight and a half sacks, nine sacks. So T is telling us ship them out, Get ship him out going. whoever. I didn't want him in the first place. Now, let's be honest. Now, T did say, because T said he's injury prone, and we see where we are. And honestly, T is taking the mentality, or not taking, he just has the mentality of GMs. That's what I'm saying. That That's reflective of what they're saying. We need the guy. Yeah. It's, 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 it's why the Green Bay Packers, it's why the Green Bay Packers say we don't care how upset Aaron Rodgers is, he's not leaving, right? Because he's the guy. Now, Aaron Rodgers will say, well, if I'm the guy, put better pieces around me. Um, but that's the that's the that's the 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 catch 22. Um, can you find enough guys to put around the guy to go and win a Super Bowl this year in Tampa? They, they've done it right. They, they, they took a Hall of Fame, uh, all time great quarterback and had some pieces already and then drafted some more people. Right. Did a little that's a great point. Um, Kansas City is doing it differently. Um now they're not because they got the highest paid quarterback in the game. But before that, they were working off a rookie contract where you could pay a lot of people other things. Um, they also have a great coach, right? Let's, let's not let's not that as well. Um, but that's what makes me say to myself, like, man, we're going to look at this next season with all these new faces and new places. And not only has it already been set like a precedent to say, we knew that quarterbacks were the premium position and the most important position. But now we know that these GMs are going to ask their owners, can I kick a guy to the curb if he's not getting the job done in two to three years? Hey, man, everybody loved Carson Wentz before this year in Philly. Yeah. They loved him, right? Yeah. My guy, Mike Sands, rest in peace, man. Diehard Philadelphia Eagles fan. And Philly loved Carson Wentz because he was gritty. He could throw the ball a mile. He doesn't have a job today. He does, but he doesn't. Right. So here I am. I love Dak Prescott. I love what the guy stands for. I love his competitive spirit. I love his leadership. None of that means anything when you're trying to win a Super Bowl in the NFL. He gone, man. They got to sign. He, he gone. Now, he gone. I'm looking so. at, right? Man, I'm looking at Jared Goff numbers. If we going to say, we're going to talk about this later, but everybody talking about yep. Tom Brady just because yep. of the yep. winning yep. primarily. Yep. I, yep. The right. winning, the winning, the winning. We'll talk, talk about Jared Goff's winning. Jared Goff, I you know your rookie record. What was that? Uh, Jeff Fisher. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Jeff Fisher's a running. He get a pass. He get a pass on he's that. He's a running joke. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later as well, though, because Steve McNair went to the Super Bowl yeah. with with that coach. That's a running joke, but that's neither here nor there. All right. But after that, with McVay, eleven and four, thirteen and three, nine and seven, nine and six. Hasn't had a losing record. Yet since the Jeff Fisher era, <laughs> okay, and then been to a Super Bowl. And by the way, yeah, should have won it. By the way, he didn't have his foot rearranged in the off season. I'm telling you, man, this this lines up to me with on, all the, with all the quiet talk. <laughs> okay, like, what's oh, going on okay. behind the scenes? Okay, so yeah, so yeah. tell me this: if, if he's gone, I'm interested to hear where where you think he will end up. Well, okay, oh, well, hold on. Let me, let me give you this though. Okay. Uh, Skip Bayless again, Jerry John Media on. Yeah, has been going at Dak for the past week on this very topic. Yeah. He's been bringing up Wentz. He been bringing up golf. He been saying that's why Jerry didn't pay him. Shannon been countering him, saying, "Oh nah, man, get that man's money." J uh, uh, Skip then went as far as bringing up the point that Dak did not sign a beer deal with the same uh -huh. beer company that Jerry got. Yeah. Saying that it's friction. That like, so I'm like, where is this coming from? When you're getting that deep, that makes me think it's some of that right. backdoor stuff. Cause 
uh, uh Skip say he been in Jerry House right for three books. Yeah. So it seemed like he liked this with the man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So well, it doesn't it does it doesn't feel right. Don't I'm look good. Telling, I'm just telling you for all of this movement that's happening, if nothing else, as an organization, you would say, All right, all this is going on with Deshaun Watson and Jared Goff and Matthew Stafford and anybody else, Aaron Rodgers and who's drafting Trevor Lawrence. We got our quarterback, right? Even if you can't, you know, legally sign him right now, you would just say, y'all may not hear us talk about that, but at the end of the day, Dak is our guy moving forward. We just got to figure out how to keep him here. You can say that. You yeah. said that with the last two um, franchise tags, right? Nothing is being said. And that worries me. Um, that worries me as a fan of Dak. Worries me as a fan of the Cowboys. Because even if you don't sign Dak, then who are you going to sign? That, that team will never be the same if they don't re-sign that. They, they won't. That it was. I, I feel it. It'll set them back. Yeah. That, that's that's going to be like a. Total I tell you what. What what would be funny? But that's what yeah. I'm saying. Does it does it set them back though? If okay. If the Los Angeles Rams are willing to say, like Wells just said, we've never had a losing record since Jared Goff found his way after his first year. If they're if they can take a step back. Then why can't the Dallas Cowboys take a step back? We're not going to the playoffs consistently. I think this is. I think they're leaning on their defense, though. They are. That's true. Well, I take. I I look at them a little different. See, because McVay is the genius boy, right? He's the genius. He's supposed to be the wizard. Yeah. So he caught everybody by surprise the first couple years with with what he with what he can do. Now I give golf some credit in in terms of being able to get that team there. But let's remember now that running game was what got them to that Super Bowl that year. And well, that's true. Anderson and uh, Gurley. Gurley. And Gurley, mm-hmm. was, and Gurley was kind of missing in action. Yeah. Later that, part of the year. year. You're right. So his running game was was really the reason why golf was able to get them windows because you had to respect that running game. Yeah. And so the, the windows were a lot bigger. Now, you, you really didn't find your running game until you got acres there. So – I guess I'm kind of maybe defending golf in a, in a sense because, heck, give Acres another year, show mm-hmm. up the line, and then let's and just I, see what happens. And I don't want to sound selfish, but that's why Jimmy is not the guy because we have a hell of a running game. And Jimmy still couldn't make simple passes. Yeah, and, like, that's all we needed. Joe, you right. That's, that's all yeah. we needed. <laughs> Hold on. First, first, Joe, if y'all defense – don't let Tyree get behind them on what a third and 14? Third and plenty. Listen. Y'all still win that game. But what listen, it seems like you're... some teams really overreacted. Here's what I'm saying, though. You're asking the defense to not only adjust to these new rule changes that basically says offense is going to score, but also Jimmy could not keep complete a pass. He kept putting Mahomes on the field. You, you can't put Jordan Esk y'all, on y'all, the field like that. There you go. Y'all are spoiled as 49ers fans, just like I'm going to be spoiled. <laughs> See, and that's y'all, what I Y'all know. had Joe Montana and Steve Young, hey. and I, I had Britt and Aaron. And See, look at Joe, Joe like we the Brady and, Bunch. You look at him. <laughs> and when Jordan Love get out there on that field, y'all brother going to be hot. Y'all going to have to call and check on me because I'm going to be disturbed. Okay, you want me to tell you how important – Getting a QB like Watson is and letting Jimmy go. Yo, Packers, what did they do in the draft? They didn't even, they didn't even, they didn't even get what they needed, right? We they went off. You wasted a draft pick and you still ended up with the record that you have now. Why? Because, because of got, your QB. Because I got arguably, the, and I'm not going to, I didn't win it though. I'm just saying. Even arguably the GOAT can't get it done without the defense. And y'all got Dang. what I wish I had. From a guy that never consistently makes the playoffs, Look you just want to have you just want to have an opportunity. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You just want to have an opportunity to have this conversation. Seriously, you right. want to have you want to have the guy that every every year, Wells, you know that you are going to at least be in the playoffs, right? If he don't what, hurt, yeah. every every off year that the Vikings might sneak in or the Bears might sneak in, but other than that, they every run a division. Year, you know that you're going to be in the playoffs. And when you get in the playoffs, you just got to out-execute and outplay the other side. You got to have the dogs at that point. I get that. Tom Brady has had that. Um, Patrick Mahomes will have that as long as they keep that, that, that close unit together. 
man, that's half the battle. And that's it goes back to what I'm saying. These GMs now realize that if you get the guy, you set yourself up for success. You can build those pieces around it, but you got to have the guy. And I think that's why we're going to see a lot of movement and guys just keep playing musical chairs until they find the guy. I, I like to pick on Saints fans all the time because I always say, you know, you had Drew Brees for 30 years, <laughs> you won one Super Bowl, and you always blew it in the NFC Championship. Yeah. But they were always there. I, I feel I feel touched by that. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, I, no, I feel like that. I feel like that. Like that did kind of hit you too, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but but again, it goes back to my point. You can't make it to the Super Bowl if you're not in the NFC Championship. You can't make it to the Super Bowl if you're not in the playoffs. You got to You got to You got to be there. It. You got to spend it. I think you just got to spend them. You got to spend it, man. You well. You got to. The teams like the Packers, their culture is we want to develop, yeah. not make splash signings, not spend big money. Yeah. That just seems like what they are. And that's why we don't. And, and that's why you only got one. Is that due to their uh, – because they're owned by uh, – That's what – yes. Right out yeah. – how this turn into <laughs> – I need y'all my know, Y'all know I'm still traumatized. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let me try this. Okay, Ray. Right. Bro, yeah, okay. So okay. Much stuff. okay. Yeah. Let, let's try to me. switch it. My my wounds are healed because I haven't been to the playoffs, so I'm okay. You come, <laughs> come on. Okay, let's switch it. All right, Ray. I need I need you to put your that's so Raven hat on, right? Okay. Okay. If Dak if Dak does not come back to the Cowboys, wow, where does he land? If he doesn't go, do I hate I hate to say this. I could easily see that man playing for the Saints. I really can. Oh. I really can. That would there, man. There he going. I he may going. not. I may not even watch football next year. Save <laughs> because if he plays for the New Orleans Saints, bro, I'm telling y'all, I, I can't. Do it. I can't help. It's easy. It's easy. He can go over there with a quarterback whisperer. They can say, "Come play with us. We got a team that's ready, set, go." Oh. I tell you what, they 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 gonna restructure. Uh, what was the QB that may be the hair pan to Drew Brees? Chase uh, Hill. Yeah, they they restructure him though. For Dak, they will yeah. they will they will figure it out, man. They're because gonna sell tickets too. They're gonna sell. Tickets. Man, he's a, he's a Louisiana kid. It's too easy. And again, what the what they they got to sign a they got they ain't got they got money trouble. They ain't got the money. What they do? Yeah, it's the money man team. I, I, I think they might yeah. get off, Michael. I think they might get off Thomas, yeah. though. See, you're right. They got money oh. trouble. But what's the one position that you'll figure it out for? I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. This the, man the, hell, the man. quarterback <laughs> position? The quarterback position, man. I, I, I hope I'm overreacting. At the end of the day, I hope, like, I'm overreacting. And in a couple of weeks, they got it figured out. But, right. man. I, I can see that going to Washington. Jared, no. Nah. No, I don't see that. Like Washington. He won't. He won't go to. Dak is ready as, as much as the the Cowboys looking for somebody who can help them win now. Dak's ready to win now too. He's not ready to do another four or five years of rebuilding. Dak shows up in Washington. There's nothing for him to do. Um, nothing around him at that point. It's just my opinion. They got a good defense, but weaponry wise, there's nothing around him. So I th- now I think they are on a come up. I just I, I don't quite see him going. Nah, like there. I'm telling you, man. but but I like that. I mean, McLaurin is he's you know he's coming along and Gibson. So that that'll be man. Jerry will regret. I'm telling. But well, then again, knowing Jerry, he probably won't regret. But I know the no, Cowboys would be really pissed with him. No, he'll regret this one. This, this is one that that as smart as as smart as he thinks he is. Mm-hmm. He blows this one. Um, I ain't talking about football. Like the next five years, you have to rebuild your franchise. You have to rebuild your fan base. Dak is one of the most beloved Cowboys. Period. And he hasn't won anything. That's true. Right? He's just been playing. Hadn't won anything. But he's one of the most beloved Cowboys. So we'll see. We'll we'll see how it goes. I hope I'm wrong. But that's that's just my take on that, man. Well, I can't wait to see how y'all manage y'all teams. Uh, Clay mentioned earlier that we need to get these uh these uh, video game dynasties going on, whether it be on uh, Madden or the new NCAA that's NCAA? come back. So I, there... I want to see where y'all going to put y'all budget on the game. <laughs> <laughs> seem like, seem like Joe and T 
are going you can you can they're gonna break the bank for a quarterback okay? then, then, yeah i'm telling you right now i'm awesome. gonna have i'm shooting for the 2000 ravens i'm gonna have the, <laughs> my my quarter my quarterback gonna be rated a seventy, but everybody else. I tell you oh, what, boys, you go, you go hawks. right, you go right ahead. Ball yeah. hawks everywhere. Look, the rules are different than it was in two thousand. Yeah, you can't hit like that. Oh man, mad that <laughs> didn't mad no. Ain't gonna be no flag. For right, this right, 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 right. Fifteen. I'm gonna get Tom Brady. I know they're gonna throw a flag then. <laughs> Go. Go. Subscribe to our daddy's YouTube channel. He's the best. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications.